Hi everyone, in today's video we're gonna talk dimension line in Autodesk Revit. I already made a project. This is a 28 feet wall with some 4 feet windows. I placed some dimensions already. If I select the dimension here on the properties panel I can go to edit type and I'm gonna make some small modifications. First I'm gonna duplicate, rename it arrow feet and inches. I'm gonna modify the thick mark to field arrow I'm gonna press apply and then maybe tick mark line weight set it up to 3 I don't wanna see the dimension line ex extension so I'm gonna set it up to 0 I'm gonna press apply so we can see what happened then the flip dimension line extension also set it up to 0 press, press apply and also I'm gonna mod I'm gonna set up to zero the witness line extension. Press apply and now I'm gonna press OK. And this is just the basic editing of uh, dimension lines. There is a lot of information about that in other videos. But I'm gonna talk about a special situation in this particular video. If I go in south elevation, I already made the structural framing for this wall. I am not gonna go through how I made this. I already have videos about structural framing in Revit. So if I go and select the dimension line, of course when I click here, on, on the first stud, I'm gonna get the dimension to the second stud. And then when I click here, I'm gonna get the dimension from the second stud to the third stud. And then when I click here, the dimension from, from the third stud to the rough opening of the window. And that's how the standard dimension works. But what if I want to click here, get this dimension, and then when I click on the third stud, I want to actually have the dimension from the bottom, from the beginning of the bottom plate to the third stud. For example, maybe we give this project to a carpenter and we want to we want to lay out all the dimensions he needs to mark on his bottom plate so in order to do that I'm gonna delete this dimension select this dimension I'm gonna go to edit type duplicate and name it ordinate inches I'm gonna press OK OK I'm gonna select the dimension line go edit witness lines and I'm gonna click on all the members I wanna mark on the on the project and I'm gonna fast forward because this is gonna take a while okay so now I selected all the components a carpenter would need to mark on on the top and bottom plate I'm gonna go to edit type and here a dimension string type there is something called ordinate if I'm gonna press apply and then OK. Now I'm gonna see that I have the dimensions that the carpenter just needs to lay out the measuring tape and just mark the plate. However, they're very messy and they're in feet and inches. And usually it makes it easier if they're in inches, just in inches. So I'm gonna go back to edit type, go down and at units format, I'm gonna uncheck use project settings and set it up to fractional inches press OK and then apply and I feel like the test text is a little bit too big so I'm gonna set it to 1 16th of an inch press apply yeah that looks pretty good and I would like now each uh, number to be exactly under the dimension witness line so I'm gonna go to read conversion and I'm gonna set it up to horizontal but even like that it still looks a little bit messy so we're gonna we're gonna try to set up the numbers in a vertical position and if I go and read at the read conversion and click up and then left nothing is gonna happen in order to make them look in a vertical position I'm gonna need to go to ordinate dimension settings click edit and I'm gonna check parallel to witness line and then I'm gonna press OK and apply and now I see all the dimensions are vertical and remember this is not gonna work if I'm gonna click on the horizontal line because if I go back to ordinate dimension settings I cannot check or uncheck parallel to witness lines 
so I'm gonna go back up and left press apply edit and now we can see that parallel to witness lines is again available then I'm gonna set up the text position to the end of the witness line I'm gonna press OK then I'm gonna try up and I'm gonna try left and then up and this looks a little bit better because they're centered to the witness, witness line and let's say I want to get rid of this continuous line right here for that I'm gonna need to go to edit and here uh, the dimension line style I'm gonna select none and I'm, now I'm gonna press ok and apply and then now I can still see this dashed line because I have selected the dimension line but if I click anywhere I'm gonna see that there's no more continuous line so this is it now you can give this project to a carpenter he just needs to lay his measuring tape and just read all these dimensions and he's gonna know where he needs to mark his plate also now if I wanna modify for example here maybe I wanna move this line right here I'm gonna select this little dot select this line and everything adjusts automatically so that's it for today's video, I'll see you next time, be well, be safe and take care.